so welcome back to exclusive tina where everything is exclusive if you're new to my channel welcome if you're turning what's up y'all so today we're doing lock sprinkles i'm going to show y'all how i put these in my hair um also i'm going to show y'all what not to do because i've learned um i put some lock sprinkles in my hair right after i retwisted my hair and majority of them came out because I used the wrong type of thread. So I used the first thread that I seen in Hobby Lobby and I didn't really read what was on the label. And look, do you see how easy that thread broke? And just imagine me putting this in my hair. Like when I was taking those sprinkles out, they were like literally breaking off. So make sure when you do buy thread, just buy the all purpose thread. It should look like this. It should be very dull. As you can tell, this kind of has a shine to it. But yeah, get the all purpose thread because you're gonna save time, believe me. I ended up taking all those sprinkles out and I put all of these back in with a different type of thread. I do have a few in the front that still have the sprinkles from the first time I put them in. So whenever I do take this lock style down, um, I'm gonna replace those with the regular thread. So some of the sprinkles were unraveling, they were breaking, I would just find them like everywhere. So I was like, let me just take these out and do them the right way. So these are the things that you're gonna need. So you're gonna need some thread. I got brown because that was the only color they had. And also this color would blend in more with the bead and also with my hair color. So make sure you just get the regular all-purpose thread. You're also gonna need a needle and a needle threader. You don't really need the needle threader, but if you want to spend more time trying to get thread into this really small hole, good luck, but I use this needle threader, so it did come in handy. So I did go to Walmart and bought this needle and it has a bigger threading hole, which would have made it easier for me to thread these needles. But once I stuck it through, the bead it stopped and I was very disappointed because I thought you know I found a way to make this easier but no it does not work so I got these two beads from Hobby Lobby very affordable they were actually 50% off so, so I'm pretty sure they were like two dollars for all these beads and you do get quite a bit so I originally was going to go with this gray color but it just kind of stuck out a little bit too much for me. So I ended up going with this antique bronze color. It's more like a bronzy brownish and I really do love this color in my hair. It does give it the little pop that I was looking for. Um, and I bought these pearls because I thought about putting pearls in there but once I put one in, I didn't really like it. So I'm just gonna make like waist beads or something with these, I don't know. And you're also going to need a bowl to store all your beads and needles in and whatnot so you won't lose them. And lastly, you're gonna need a pair of scissors to cut the thread and yeah, that's it. So you're gonna get your bowl and you're just gonna pour some sprinkles in there and you're also going to put your needle in here and you're gonna put your needle threader in there too. Just so everything is in there. Um, I usually do this on the couch and it's just easier just to have everything just in my lap where I can pick it up, needle, thread it, and put it in my locks. So you're gonna take your thread. Okay. See, this is the thing I hate because like, why does it take so long to, um, to find the beginning? So you're going to get your thread. I do maybe like 12 inches. 10 inches, I don't know, I don't really count. But just long enough so it's easy to tie. You're gonna cut it with your scissors. And then you're going to get your needle. I think it's faster for me to thread it without the needle, the needle threader thing. But if you know, some people can't really see the hole like that, so just get your needle threader, it saves time. Um, so now I have my thread like this. Okay, so you're gonna have a really short piece like that, and then you're gonna have the really long piece, and you're just going to thread it through a lock. So I'm gonna do this lock right here. You're gonna thread it through the end. Make sure the end of your lock is fully locked because if it's not, it's gonna slip out. So I wouldn't thread it through like this lock because it's not 
locked at all. It still has some locking to do. So this one won't have a bead for a good minute. But as you see, this one is like fully locked on the ends. So you're gonna take your bead and be very careful not to poke yourself. You're gonna thread it through like that. And then you're gonna pull the thread through like so, take the needle off, and then you're gonna tie the knots, okay? So I'm gonna do one, and then I'm just gonna do it like five times too, just so like it really doesn't come out. I lost count, so I'm gonna guess this is five. After I knotted it five times, this is what I'm left with. Very easy, very simple. And you're gonna cut it right under the knot. Be careful not to cut the knot because it will slide out, it will come out. So I just cut it like right there. Thread my needle, but not all the way. It makes it easier to pull the needle through. And then I'm gonna get my lock. Which one I wanna do? This one. So I'm gonna get my lock, thread the needle through right at the end, get my little bitty bead, thread that through the needle. Be very careful not to poke yourself. And take the needle out. Now you're left with your two pieces of string. Make sure your bead is slid closer to your lock. And then we're going to just tie. And then I'm gonna do five knots. One, two. Make sure they're tight. If you get the all-purpose string, you'll be able to kind of pull it to make sure it's tight. That was two, three, four, so this is what we're left with the bead is in there and then I am going to cut it not too close and this is what the lot sprinkle looks like very cute very dainty very cute right and I'm gonna show y'all I kept two of them in right here so I can show y'all how easy it is to take them out. So you're gonna need some cuticle clippers. I think this is the easiest way to take them out without like cutting like a lot of your hair off. You really don't cut any hair off. Maybe like a little bitty like micro piece but honestly if you're really careful you won't cut no hair off. So you're gonna take your lock sprinkle and you're gonna move all the hair from the sprinkle okay. So it should just be the sprinkle right by itself. You're gonna take your cuticle clippers and put the sprinkle, I can't see anything, right in there. And make sure you put your finger on top of the bead so the bead won't just fall on the floor. And then you're just gonna clip it out. And then voila. I did get a little bit of hair, if you can see. It's nothing that's gonna damage my lock just because I'm not just putting these in and out my lock like that, like every day. I do plan on keeping these in for a long time. So I just take it, move all the hair that's around from the bead, and then clip it, and boom. So I'm gonna show y'all one that I put in and it still had kind of like a loose end. So this is one where I kind of like rushed it. Like I said, it was more of a trial and error the first time I put these in. As you can tell, like, this needs to be locked up way more. And I did have a few that were like this that slipped out. So I'm just gonna take this one out. I'm not gonna redo it. I push all the hair back from the bead. Take my cuticle clippers. Put my finger on top and clip and it takes it out. So that is how I put my lock beads in. Very simple for the people who are asking how I do it. That's how I do it. So make sure you go to Hobby Lobby and go buy your lock sprinkles. Don't get jipped out here because they do be selling them on Etsy for like $30. Just go to Hobby Lobby, 
get these little glass beads. I don't know how the plastic beads hold up, but I wouldn't I wouldn't even waste my time putting those in. Make sure you get the glass beads. Um if the sale's still going on, they're 50% off. So that's like two dollars for all these beads. And put them in yourself, okay? Learn how to do it yourself. That's what we do on my channel. We learn how to do it. And if you don't know how to do it, I'm gonna teach you. Okay. So yeah. That is the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.